The 2015 to 2017 F-150s and Super Duties need some bass. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Even the trucks with the premium Sony audio package are a bit lacking in a powerful bass note, but Kicker Audio is here to help with their vehicle-specific solutions substage kit for the 2015 to 17 Super Crew and Super Cab trucks. This kit is a full enclosure that comes with an 8-inch kicker subwoofer powered by its own 200-watt kicker amplifier that gives your truck more bass and more depth and makes for an absolutely huge sound quality improvement in general. We will start by making a small incision in the grommet on the driver's side of the firewall to pass the power harness into the cabin. It was easiest to feed a lead wire through the grommet and taping the power wire to it so we can feed it through the cabin a little easier. Install the black 2-pin power connector on the subwoofer power harness. Push the wire into the slot and it will click into place. Using a trim tool, pry off the dash end trim panel so we can route our wiring harness and install our ground connection. The weather strip may need to be peeled off for now as well. The black ground wire of the subwoofer connects to the bolt above the driver's side kick panel. We also fed the subwoofer power harness through the kick panel to hide it away from view. After the kick panel, we removed the front and rear driver's side threshold panels along with the rear door weather strip. We trimmed the tape off the factory wire harness just behind the junction of the harness that runs up the B-pillar. The wires we are looking for in this harness are the white and green stripe wire and the brown and yellow stripe wire that are twisted together shown here. Install the quick connects to both of these wires, then grab the adapter harness and connect the green wire to the green and yellow and the brown wire to the brown and yellow. Next, feed the power wire connector through to the rear and connect it to its corresponding power harness connector. All of the remaining wire harness connectors can be fed through the rear kick panel at this time. The adapter harness can be connected to its counterpart, and all of the wiring minus the subwoofer connectors can be hidden under the rear threshold panel. Behind the rear driver's side seat, you will find the factory amplifier and subwoofer. Work on removing them from the truck so the new sub can take its place and the factory amp relocated. A host of nuts and bolts hold the factory system to the truck, along with three wire harnesses on the amp and one on the sub. Once the sub and the amplifier are out, also remove the passenger side factory subwoofer mounting stud. 
With the amp out, we next remove the four screws securing the factory amplifier to its bracket. With the amp removed from its factory bracket, install the factory amplifier on the relocation bracket using the supplied nuts and bolts. Now since our Super Duty came with an extra storage bin under the rear seat from factory, we must remove the bin on the driver's side to fit the amplifier. There are two plastic rivets on the edge, along with screws on the underside that need to be removed to pull it from the truck. Install the amplifier relocation bracket underneath the driver's side rear seat. Install the factory amplifier bracket bolt removed earlier in the hole farthest from the driver's side and tighten it while keeping the other hole centered. Then you can plug in the factory amplifier connections back into the amp. Back to the new sub, remove the two screw clips and screws from the replacement subwoofer mounting bracket. These are only used for trucks not originally equipped with subwoofers. Then preparing to drop in the new sub, we hid the wiring harness under the kick panels and snap the panels back into place. Drop in the new kicker sub and connect the subwoofer harness 4-pin connector to the subwoofer and engage the red locking tab. Next connect the subwoofer harness 10-pin connector to the subwoofer, engage the red locking tab, and then attach the connector to the bracket. The sub can now be bolted down to the floor on each side, then bolted in at the top two bolt connections in the bracket. Finish the installation by connecting the power wire to the battery, then insert the supplied fuse into its holder and hide the remainder of the harness out of the way. The kicker subwoofer upgrade provided our Super Duty with a big sound upgrade over factory, even with our stock Sony system. The bass is capable of being much louder and is noticeably clearer. Check out this product by clicking the link in the video description below.